All right, here we go. Now that we managed to survive the cabin fight, we gotta continue going through the village to escape it. Because, yeah, we gotta rescue Ashley. I mean, already rescue her. We gotta get her safe home. So before we, we carry on moving, let's check this out. Two routes. Just a while ago, I was informed by Lord Sadler that our men had shot down a United States military helicopter. There shouldn't be any more outside interferences for a while now. Unless the United States government determines who the traitor is, they can only initiate very small covert operations. We must use this time to our advantage and recapture the girl. The two Americans can only get out of our territory by using one of two routes. This is where we will stop them. We shall make use of our forces to the greatest degree. We will deploy a large number of ganados in one of the routes to ensure that they do not slip by us. For the other route we shall leave the task to El Gigante. Whichever route they take, the Asian will never live here alive. Not with a girl at least. At least. Alright, so there we go. That's what we got here. We got two routes we can take. One will have a lot of ganadas and the other one will have an El Gigante. I just made the video even funnier and even larger. We gotta take both routes. Got a selection. What are you selling? I mean, you don't really have to do that, but in both of the routes, you can find a treasure. And if you want to have every single treasure and sell them for the higher price, you gotta do that for sure. Let's go, Ashley. Let's do this, shall we? Could he? Yeah, which gate would you open? Left, of course. Left, of course! I mean, we'll try the left first. Once we're done clearing this area, we go to the right side where the El Gigante is at. So just follow me, Ashley. We're good to go. Should we sort this thing out? Uh, this is a mess, man. It's probably not even worth it. I ain't selling these incendiary grenades yet because I'm gonna need those for vitreous men this fight. So yeah, for now I'm gonna leave everything like this. So as you can see in this part, there's a lot of ganados. We ask Ashley to hide there so we can fight in peace without have to, having to worry so much about her. So yeah, as well until everyone is close to you. Get those kicks whenever you can. Slash them to save that ammo. I mean, it's not really pro mode, but you can save a lot of ammo. That can be useful for the latest parts of the game. As always, remember to shoot these guys when they're about to blow their can their, their their torch, and then they're they're one shot in the head. I, I actually think you can just finish him with the knife. It's not a good spot for me. All right, thanks. Give me that. That dude is still up there. He doesn't really go down. He's like stuck. He's not well programmed. Just kill him when you can. I finish all this, these people. The handgun should be enough for the for the initial part. Then you go up here. There's going to be a couple more a couple more enemies. He sees me. What's up, bro? What's all of that? Yay! All right. Kick him, slash him until he's dead. Now this guy is gonna come. Slash her. Use a knife whenever you can. I mean. I, all the time I'm saying this, this is not pro mode, but it's a nice habit to try to to like save as much ammo as you can. Ooh. Watch out with that guy. Watch out with the plagas. That can be deadly as hell, man. Wait until the plaga stands up. Wait until it gets close to you, but not so close. Try to finish it if you can, by only using the handgun. Come on, it's taking forever! There you go, there we go. Alright, so... Smart enemies. Yeah. Chill out, bro. We're here, all peaceful. Oh my gosh, come on, more players? For real, bro? Ooh, that's, that was a nice shot. Okay, so before we go down here, where we gotta go down, let's go back here. 
Let me reload this thing. We're gonna need all the ammo we can. Let me reload this as well. Come on, what do you mean? Let's take this one. Let's go up. We're good to go. For this part, you want to go down... Uh, where? You want to jump down on this side of the ladder. Not in the other side because you, you would need to move fast. And uh, look. Oh crap, move fast. Those are the deadly and the scary Bella sisters. You wanna go down here? Avoid that dude. You gotta be fast and quick and at the timing, man. And go back to where you start the area. And wait until both of the Bella sisters are down here. If you can knock these guys, wait until all they are down. They're gonna show They're gonna show up eventually, don't worry. There it goes one, there it goes the second. Try to blow them using that car. Try to deal as much damage as you can. Reload when you can before they got... They about to get here. And they just headshot them. Just like that. Try to get some knife. Hits on the first lady that gets close to you. Then another headshot. And rise and repeat. You only have to worry about these two girls. There goes one. Finish the second one, slashing her until she's dead. One more. And that's pretty much it. There's gonna be another extra Ganados, but you only have to worry about the Bella sisters because remember, they can one hit kill you with a deadly chain chainsaw, so yeah. Just, just watch out, just watch out. Where's this last fella though? If the music is still going, it means there's a, there's a still an extra enemy. But I can pinpoint this guy for some reason. Oh, I see him. What's up, bro? You doing there chilling? Get those headshots, get those kicks, and slash them. Watch out with the plagas. See if we can have a good shot on it. Shouldn't be that close to him. And I waste so much ammo. It's all good. I'm out of I'm out of shotgun shells. But it's it's good. We don't need those because we still have the TMP. Let's just not try let's just try to not waste so much TMP ammo. Alright. We're good to go. We use the camp key here. Look, examine. Camp key. It opens the door at the center of the camp. We need this thing. Yeah, we're good to go. And there's a small box here. I mean, we're technically we're done with this area because we can't get a treasure we're looking for. Pass this window. And then we don't really need to go to the other side. But you know, for the sake of completing everything we can on this game, we're gonna we're gonna get that for sure. Let's combine this oh with that. Let's keep moving. We go up here to get this thing. By the way, I almost forgot. We got the red him. Oh, we already combined that. What am I doing? It's like my mind is in another in another spot right now. <laughs> Hang grenade. We can fit this thing here. So we're just gonna heal to fit that thing. Let's get this barrel. Handgun ammo. All good. Let's go. Up. Let's go to the last part of the camp, this area. Let's kill all the Ganados that are spawned there. It's, it's a bunch of them, actually. And I think we can use a grenade on most of them. Let's wait until they, they spot me. Let's wait until they're, they're like... They gather it together. Maybe we just can't spam them with this thing. We're gonna need bullets for the El Gigante. I think like 200 should be enough. Yeah. Honestly, I could use a grenade there. I kill like so most of them, and they just use the ha the handgun to finish them. You saw? There's still a bunch of them, to be honest. But we should use the the TMP for this. 
Don't let them flank you. Try to go for those case shots. A couple of bullets should be enough to finish them. Oh, two plagas. I guess I can afford one of these flash grenades. And that's that's good. Remember the flash grenade insta kills the plagas. So it's pretty useful. You're dealing with one more than more than one plaga. I don't know what I'm saying. I mean I do, but sometimes I think too much what I'm about to say for some reason. There's an extra barrel here. A couple of extra barrels here. We get all the resources we can. Handgun ammo. And we're good to go. Normally we would take this this gate. But since we left Ashley behind and since we are also taking both routes, we just go back. It's all good, we loot all this area, we got all the treasures we wanted, we got an extra pesetas with extra money. We can use later in the game to upgrade our guns and get some extra guns. And that's pretty much about about this area man. Just just call Ashley. Press C on your keyboard or whatever you're using. Now you do on with the area we got here. Let's see if we can source something here. Uh, not really. We can plus put some flashes here. Uh, it's it's a mess right now, but we're we're gonna we gonna get rid of those all those extra grenades eventually. You don't worry about it. Now let's take the second route. The right, the right path, the right route. Right, of course. In this one, we're gonna meet uh, an El Gigante. It might sound crazy and hard, but we with the fully upgraded. Well, it's not fully upgraded. The, with the upgraded TMP, at least the upgrades we can set now. So far, it should be enough. Just make sure you have enough ammo. I should be good to go. You shouldn't. You shouldn't have any issues if you do it the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do this area. There you go. What's up, bro? Alright. Get out of my way, Ashley. Come come back here. Come back here. Hit him in the head. You should you should have enough time until he recovers. And just slash him. Make sure you're pressing the right key. The right button. Because if you don't do it correctly it's gonna be even harder just wait just wait it's all good even if she grabs Ashley once let me heal her I have to be next to Ashley let me heal her it's all good everything is calculated don't worry about it let me climb this thing slash this guy once I'm done, I'm, I'm gonna heal Ashley. Just in case, we don't want we don't wanna take the risk. Use on Ashley. Thank you. I just hit this guy. All right, that should be the last. Now, just slash him once more, and he's dead. Make sure you press the correct one. In this case, C. It can be either C or X. As you can hear the music stop, it means this guy is dead. Go few tiles back, dodge him, and that's pretty much it for the area. Somehow it doesn't affect Ashley because she doesn't have to dodge him. So yeah, only using the TMP it's enough to kill the El Gigante. Normally Ashley doesn't get hit, but it can be a bit random if you land your shots. Oh crap! Didn't meant to do that. I just wanted to get the treasure. We got it. Wait, actually, it's so annoying that you're following me every single direction. Get everything here. Just finish looting the area. We get the final hem here. And pretty much we're good to go. We got the alt key to open this camp. And that should be it. That should be it, brothers. Let's get the purple chem. Follow me. Uh, call Ashley. Go through here. I'm gonna yeah, just shoot this. It's annoying with the knife. Just reload this thing. And that's it for this area and for the two routes. That's pretty much it. 
Let me see if I got something here. I can use. Let me reload this thing. Keys and treasures. Treasures. I can combine this. And as you can see, we already have the elegant mask with all the hand pieces fit in it. We can sell this for a really high price. Higher price, I mean. Let me sort this thing a bit. Because I got a mess here. Not even worth putting these two bullets here, but you know, everything gotta be sorted by colors. So it looks pretty and good. You know what I'm saying? Put this thing here. And we should go. We should be good. Like that. Doesn't look that, that good. But once you buy the, the bigger cases, it's way better. You use the old key. Alright, to the next area, I'm gonna ask Ashley to wait. There's handgun ammo here. I believe it's everything around this, the, this, this like, I don't know. This is a small cabin. This, this is a safe room. Let's read this. Village last defense. I clearly underestimate the American agent's capability. He's still alive. I thought that we could wait until the egg hatch, but at this rate, he could destroy the whole village before he does. We must take care of this nonsense. We shall change our pro priorities. For the time being, we will seize our hunt for Louis, Lois and ambush the two Americans. There is a building used to enlighten betrayers just beyond the point where you get off the lift. It's a perfect place for ambushing them. If all else fails, they they'll still will need to face me in order to get past the last gate that leads out of the village. For only before my sight will the gate open. Alright. So we gotta find that cabin, I mean, we already know we're gonna get ambushed, but I believe it's part of of the game. It's part of what we need to complete. So yeah, let me go up here, talk to talk to my little friend. What's up, bro? Welcome. What you got for me now? Got a selection of what are you selling? He's not selling anything. He's not uh, selling anything new, but we can sell Is our spinels. <laughs> The ruby and the elegant mask for 20k. As so you can see, it's worth saving, saving until the last second, until you have mixed everything. And we good. Follow me. Come, Ashley. Now we can go. The reason I always ask Ash Ashley to wait is like it's it's annoying having her behind me all the time. Let's check this. It won't open. I guess this is the only only way out of the village. This light looks like it's some sort of retinal scanner. All right, that's good. Let's just get out of here. I believe there's a barrel here. Yeah, there is. It's crazy I still remember everything, almost. I can shoot that guy down, but the other dude I can shoot it. It's not like in my range, as you can see. Let's just get moving. Let's get on this thing and we're good to go. So as you can see, uh, a couple of ganados are going to sp spawn on top of these things. You can shoot them down. Where the hell you are actually? Couldn't see you. It only takes one bullet to shoot them down. This part is quite fun. Just for doing that. If you don't shoot them before they, 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 you're like in the rich area, they're gonna throw your axes at you, they, they might jump on top of this thing and try to bring you down. So you don't, honestly don't want to take that risk. Especially if you're like in a no dead or no damage run or something. Like so far we haven't died once. We have taken some damage. But so far we're doing pretty good, I would say. And that's about it. I think that was the last enemy. We just wait until we're do we're done that we're down there. And all good. Let's get out. Look at the look at Ashley's textures though. Wait. All right. This this area is safe for Ashley. I'm gonna ask her to wait down there until I'm done clearing this this area. I mean, I can I can, I could ask her to wait like later. But I can't stand here, like standing in my way when I'm coming back from a room, you know? It can get a bit annoying. <laughs> Alright, so down here. Oh, I can see that guy. 
Okay. There's one guy with one dynamite. You can kill. And kill them all. There you go. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Now you kill them all. Only using a couple of bullets. That was a bit sloppy. But it's all good. There's one there's one last dude here. Sometimes it spawns it's a spawn it spawns a plaga, sometimes it doesn't. Like I said, it's all RNG. For these guys. Try to hit him like in the in the eye or something. Can't really tell. Might take some tries, some bullets. But other than that, you should be okay fighting these easy enemies. This blood's still fresh. Where was there some kind of ritual here? Probably, most likely. These guys are messed up. You got a yellow cat's eye. So now we combine this with the beer stain, and we pretty much got the beer stain with the three hemstones uh, fit inside. So yeah, we can sell this for an extra 20k. Pretty useful to have that extra money to upgrade all your guns, to buy the best guns in the game, to buy pretty much whatever you want and like enjoy every gun in the game. Follow. Especially the bonus guns you get uh, when you're done with the game. So yeah. Now we ask Ashley to follow us. That was, those were the last enemies. We just now find the, uh, the Mercant. Get all this stuff down here. Over there, talk to him. Welcome. Sell the sell the beer stain. What are you selling? And that should be it. Ah. <laughs> yeah, sell Thank that. You. Let me what see if I can buy an extra aid spray. Is you might, all? you never know when you might need this. This is a mess right now. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? But with the next Come boss fight back. we're about to have. We can pretty much spend all those incendiary grenades and no issues at all. Oh. Alright. We're here. To get to, we're about to get an ambush. We already know this, but we're still coming down here. You better stay outside. Ashley, go hide. Yeah. Oh crap, here we go. So this is the reason we we're saving these incendiary grenades. Just watch. You hit this guy once. This, is, this, this boss is pretty much like two phases. The first phase is where his body is complete and then and the second one is when he pretty much detached from his body. Wait until he's like close to you. Make sure you, you dodge him. If he gets on top of you, wait until he's down. You want him, you want him to like be like as your as your as your height, so you can actually use these incendiary grenades. Oh, I missed this. Okay, we hit him. We hit him. I missed one, but we actually hit him. Might just use this and wait until he stands up. Keep moving. Keep moving. Make sure you you dodge him. 
Wait until he's close to you, I think. All right. One more. One more, I should, and he should be dead. Probably not. I don't know. I don't honestly do know the exact exact number. Just keep moving around. Make sure you have him around you like that. All right. Yeah, that's it. And that is pretty much the easy way to beat this boss. You get extra 30k. And you got the false eye you need to get out of the village. You got the false, false eye. So as you can see, that's the easy way to do this. I mean, it can, it can be a bit tricky to land the incendiary grenades when he de attached from, from his legs. But other than that, it's easy and you don't spend money. I mean, the other easy way is to just like buy, buy an RPG, shoot him. But you waste money, you lost 50, you lost 50k, and we honestly want to maximize the profits we can, we can get from the bosses. So you'll barely see me using RPGs to defeat the bosses. I mean, it's like the easy way, but it can be, it can be boring, honestly. It takes away the challenge. Are you okay, Leon? Even though I'm. Maybe exploiting the game mechanics by knowing his weakness is the incendiary grenades. But we're still using only the stuff we find in the game and not like and not like trying to use only the RPG to make it easier. If it was a speed run, maybe the RPG would be the way to go. Anyway. Let me combine this with this. And actually with this to get all my hell back. And also like To increase the max amount I have health. Let me put this thing here. This thing here, this thing here. And this guy's up here. And we got to go. We got we ha we have a bunch of instant uh, flash grenades. But those are going to come handy in, in the late stage of the game. Alright. That should do it. Let's go. Now we're back. There's nothing else we can actually sell to this guy, right? We don't have any more spinals. Nothing else. He wanna upgrade his his store until we 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 met him the next time. So yeah, just go back where we came from. Back to the main gate of the village where we need where we needed uh, the retinal scanner to work. That's it, bro. Once you're coming back, you don't really have to fight more enemies going up here. It's just the first time you go down. We're almost there, brothers. We're almost there. This might be a bit of a longer video because I took both, both routes. But, yeah. This can be a guide for you if you're doing this for the first time. I mean, for the second time, you're trying to, like, not die too much. And here we use this. Look at this. False eye. There is a cold like pattern etch inside the iris. It opens the gate to get out of the village. I never heard that, that word before. Etch or itch. Whatever that means. But yeah. Look at the graphics though. Before the mod, before using the, the HD project mod, that door used to look so bad, I swear. And this is the castle we're heading to. All right, so this is a la pretty much the last part of the village. And watch this, you gotta be careful here. So this guy is just gonna rush at you, but if you can get a, a headshot on him, like I already did, you just go back and he, should, and he should kill all these guys. But the last guy probably. But you can just burn this guy down, as you can see. And here comes a, a tricky part. Equip one of your grenades, you don't really have to, but it can be useful. And watch, take this money, keep going back until until you're like uh, away, a, a bit away from the truck like this. This should be enough. Now go back, look back, like that. Drop a grenade, 
You should be able to kill most of the of these guys spawning. They only spawn like when you Ouch. Oh, when you're fa when you're you when, when you're facing on the opposite side. It's like they open the gate, but since the gate doesn't have a, an animation, it's just a steady object. It doesn't show you when you're looking at them. You can literally run all the way up without looking back. And th these guys w w wouldn't spawn at all. But yeah, you can get an extra extra cash there, extra kills. Just for statistics. Doesn't really matter. You can just avoid them, like I said. Walking backwards. And we're pretty much done with the area. I should have not got here out there, honestly. But sometimes I can be I can play a sloppy. I should have reload this thing before we get into into the until on uh, into the castle. Sorry, sometimes I, uh, yeah. On the other side of the bridge. Yeah. You take that one. Okay. Ready? Thank you so much for watching my guys, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe if you're new around, thumbs up and share all this content because that helps a lot, you have no idea, and I will see you guys very mother freaking soon.